Hi, this is Gareth Kentish, and having had my sights recently hacked, I thought I'd create this video. And its purpose, well, really to encourage you to take precautions, especially if you're a developer of your own websites. And you may not even know that your sites have been hacked due to techniques such as cloaking. So in this video, we're going to have a look at Webmaster Tools by Google, and we're going to do analysis and research on your sites to see if they have actually been hacked, and if so, learn how to deal with them and remove the threat. So let's start by going to Webmaster Tools. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to create a Webmaster Tools account, and that can actually be aligned to your existing Gmail account. And what I've done here from the Webmaster Tools dashboard is I've actually added a number of my existing domain names here you can see auctionmoneygenerator.com and in this example I want to add a new domain name called wizard.com so all I need to do is to click on add a site which I'll do here type in the URL www. oops wizard.com click on continue and now it will give me four instructions. So what I need to do is to download the Google uh, security HTML file there and then go to my C panel on my server to upload that onto the wizard.com folder. So let's assume that I've downloaded the file. I'm now going to go into my C panel server, which is over here. Go to file manager here. And then I can find my domain name by going to public HTML, which is here. And I should find wizard.com in this folder. Let's have a look. Here it is. Let's go down to the bottom, beginning with W. And what I want to do now is upload that file from my downloads folder, which is on my computer. And once I've done that, I'll just choose a file here, go to my downloads file, which is I think up here, and then let's have a look. There it is. I'll just upload that file, this one here, upload, done that. Now, if I go back now to the webmaster tool and verify, I should have success. Let's just see. Congratulations, you have successfully verified your ownership of the wizard.com. So now Webmaster Tools will start monitoring the security for malware and phishing on that particular site. So, so far, so good. Okay, great news. You now have Webmaster Tools reviewing your websites. Now, you may in the future then receive an email similar to what I received the other day suggesting that I had a suspected hacking on my main uh, website garethkentish.com now first things first do not panic just follow the instructions step by step if you do receive such an email and what's important also where it lists the sample URLs where the suspected hacking has taken place please don't click on any of these links what we will do here is use a Google tool called cache colon followed by the email address because what this will do for us is it will allow us to see what the search engine sees on that URL URL and the reason why we do this and not click is because we may then identify techniques such as cloaking so let's start by doing that shall we I'll just grab hold of the first one here control C I'll now go over to a new tab type in cache and then I'll put that address in and what you'll see here is my front page but I'm going to go down the screen and I'm now looking at what the search engine sees and if I clicked on it without the cache colon it wouldn't show the material that you're going to see as I scroll down the screen here so you can now have a look here we go let's have a look not this one here it is triangulating your sites now here the cache Google search has identified a whole load of rubbish that was certainly not put in by myself. And this is basically spamware trying to advertise and using my reputable website to redirect the search and the user to have a look at this advertisement here. Complete rubbish and very irritating indeed. So now 
I've got to rectify this particular site by going into the code on my WordPress account. This is complete rubbish here, very, very irritating. But great news is I've been able to identify the spammy text by using the cache colon tool. So let's now go and have a look within the WordPress account and see what this cloaking text looks like. Okay, so I've accessed my main site, garethkentish.com, and logged in as the administrator so I can access the dashboard. So what I really need to do is to find that page triangulating your sites. I know it's actually a blog post, so let's go there. And I want to look at the text within that page. So let's just go down and see if we can find it. There it is, triangulating your sites, and click on the edit button. And what you would do normally is go to the text tab here and then scroll down to identify where that funny looking text might be. Now, in this particular case, I have actually resolved the problem with the cloaking text. So what I want to do is I'll click on the browse button here so you can see a previous version of this page. And from there, you should be able to see what that text might look like. So let's just move down here. It's on the left hand side and you can see it in red here. Some of these funny looking characters and references to other addresses and so on. Here it is here. And I've actually taken all this text out in red. See all these funny characters, cloaking techniques, and then replaced it by what it's got here in green. And by default, of course, I've now removed that hacking material from that page. And once I've done that, I can then advise Google that it's now being fixed. So let's move on and see how we do that, shall we? Having now removed the spammy text, the cloaking text from my page, I'm now going to go back to Webmaster Tools, click on the domain name that I was fixing, garethkentish.com in this case, click on that, and I get presented with a whole load of tools on the left hand side here. And what I want to do is update the crawl feature within Google. So click on crawl and then click fetch. And what I want to do now is just type in the proper URL page for the site that I fixed, triangulating your site in here, and click on the fetch button, and that will then update Google for me. So that's pretty much it in fixing and resolving a lot of the concerns that you may identify using Webmaster Tools. So now let's have a quick look at the dashboard. And it seems that I've got some extra messages there. So let's just have a quick look at those. And I have a problem because the new website that I've just added, wizard.com, it's now telling me that I've got a problem uh, suspected hacking sites. So here again, I can use the same technique, highlight in blue, go up to cache. I'll just type in cache here and let's see what the damage is. Let's have a look. I'll just do cache colon. And let's have a look here. Uh, and there you can see I've got a load of rubbish promoting the Cricket World Cup. I mean, that's not rubbish itself, but it shouldn't be actually on my site. And it's very, very irritating. So I'm going to have to do exactly the same thing. But first things first, I should now suspend that site so I don't cause any damage for my unsuspecting visitors. So I go back into Control Panel. Let's do that. And what I do is I click on the public HTML folder here, click on the wizard.com folder, and I now wish to change permissions. So if I go up here, and I'll take out this button there and this button there, so the permission level is now 700, change permissions, so I've now protected users from visiting that site so they will not be damaged. So if I now just click on wizard.com, you'll see that I should have forbidden access. And it will stay like that until I've now resolved the problem that's been identified through Webmaster Tools. I hope this has been helpful. My name's Gareth Kentish, and thanks again for watching. Well, that was just a quick snapshot on how to identify and resolve issues should your website be hacked. What I would recommend to get a really good understanding of how to deal with this issue is to follow the step-by-step -step processes and watch the videos in Webmaster Tools. They are absolutely brilliant. And one other thing, if you do find that your website is hacked, let your ISP know about it. 
because they can suspend your sites for you while you resolve the issues. It's a great thing to do to protect your users, members and visitors to your websites. Thanks again for watching. My name's Gareth Kentish and we'll speak soon. Take care.